Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, guys? Hello. So we are, uh, we're back. And uh, we're all going to do, we're going to do it a little different. We're all going to recap for our individual characters. Uh, so, uh, Rufio, upon waking up, ran out of the, the building, fought Izik with Shart, killed him pretty quickly, uh, fought Madame Fiona, Lady Fiona, Madame Fiona, one of those. Lady Fiona. Uh, and that was actually a very difficult fight, but uh, eventually ended up meeting up with these guys, helped take down the Dragonborn barbarian scary monster guy and uh had a nice talk with the raven queen and has now gone from paladin to hexblade warlock so there's some fun new stuff that we're gonna get into maybe if we get into a battle or a, i'll get into a battle and we'll see what happens but yeah that's what happened to me uh absidy he had a little run-in with strahd trying to keep irena from him uh at the last minute, he Strahd gave some information that Irina would be safe by keeping her because of the the bones of Anne Saint Andrel, Saint Andrel. Um, so he left. I left Irina in the church and also left Vin. So we now know that Vin is with Strahd, and I think you learned that last session too, right? Like I told you. Yeah, you. We we discussed it. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, also met up with them at the crossroads, and that's where Absidy's at. Uh, as for Shart, um, really was like all over the place for the most part. I went, I was with Rufio, we fought Isaac, uh, and then when he split, I ended up uh, actually getting knocked unconscious by the big red guy that we ended up killing at the end of it. Um, which, <laughs> thank God we killed him, and I got to be the one to do it, because I was real mad. Uh, as I went unconscious, though, when he uh, took me down, I heard the howl of in. Uh, so as soon as I was revived by dirt, uh, I was had calmed him down quick, and I was hell bent on trying to get to where I heard it come from, which was by the church, which is where I knew Absidy was. Um, and then obviously Absidy telling me that Vin is with Strahd has me very mad. So it's pretty much it uh, as far as a uh, short goes. Okay. Um... I'll just I'll give Dirt's summary because we didn't really get to see it. Um, basically, after going to sleep, he had a pretty restless night's sleep. He was praying, um, and he was just getting images of bright lights and this man in this armor. Um, some things were said, uh, and he was woken up uh, to right when the everything was starting to be on fire. He was able to put on his uh, leather armor grabbed his shield, and he grabbed the silver short sword, and he started bolting out to try to take care of everything because he was told by this man in this armor that everyone would be okay. And he started fighting different werewolves. He got separated. He saw the building go up in flames. He went a little bit farther, and eventually he met up with everyone, uh, and he was there for the big dragonborn fight. Cool. <clears throat> that was that was a crazy episode, guys. So <clears throat> yeah. hopefully you, uh, you check that out, and that's why you're here now. And Strahd had a really fun time. Yeah, that, we bet. That was definitely, like, terrifying. Like, yeah. you fighting Strahd and him just not even batting an eyelash was kind of... My, my rapier went through his body. It did. He didn't and care. And he was like, ow. <laughs> that hurt. He really, he sell. Um, yeah, very much. Is he perfect yet? Probably. He's more perfect. We should uh, we should roll for our hit points. Yeah, roll yeah, for our guys. We, because of we we're doing milestones, so last time we went up to level six, so we're trying to start roll uh, rolling our hit points on camera. So Pat, if you'd like to go, uh, that is a four. And what do I add to that? My prof my prof charisma, charisma, charisma. charisma. Constitution. Constitution. constitution or constitution. constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, so four plus my con, I think, is plus two. If my character sheet will load from D and D Beyond. If you look at this, the hit point bonuses. That's yeah. the collection of all your constitution bonuses times your level. So mine's two, so it's six plus two. So mine is... Also two. Also two. So six. So that puts me at 54. Okay. I'm gonna go. Please. Okay, five. So what I would have got anyway, that's seven plus the 45 puts me at 52. 
45. I thought you were at... Uh, oh, yeah. No, that that's wrong. So I was at... 42. 42. At 42 so I'm at 49. Yeah. How do I fix this? Yeah, right. Both of you guys did... Uh, you could use the override HP. Okay. Got it. Both of you guys did pretty good, so I'm Jesus expecting Christ, to dude. botch it. What is your... It's your hit point bonuses? Yeah. You got to plus something from things? Yeah. It's your. It's the roll plus your constitution, uh, constitution modifier. Or you can take a flat five plus your constitution modifier. That's or the in, average, right? Mm -hmm. Or in my instance, a seven plus your constitution modifier. Yeah. What'd you got? I rolled a seven, so. All right. <laughs> so override HP. My D and D Beyond is crapped out for the moment, so we're gonna. All right. What did I say? Fifty-four. That sounds right. Cool. Yeah, I'm at fifty-two, which is I'll take it. What's dirt at? Out of curiosity. I don't know if this is right. It says his uh, pluses plus uh, hit point bonuses, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what we're looking at? No, constitution. Constitution. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, his was what? what it says plus. it's a plus 10 from constitution. No, no, no. no. It would, that's what he's gotten overall. So that means uh, his constitution now being at level 5, his constitution's probably a plus 2. two. Yeah. So. Okay. <clears throat> so then he got a plus 10 with the plus 2 because he got 8. Nice. So damn. Yeah, he rolls really well for. I, I remember when we did this last time. I think he was like close to you guys. What? Mm -hmm. uh, what die does he roll? A ten. A d ten. Yeah. Nice. So um, he's at forty two. Yeah, he was like close to you guys last time because he's rolled really, really well with him. <coughs> so, all right, cool. So, <coughs> DM, whenever you are ready, my friend. Take it away. Oh, please. It's whenever you're ready. So, um, kind of where we left off. Uh, Rufio, you were touched by the Raven Queen. Yeah, it was. Lightly on the head. And as you woke up, uh, laying down on the ground to your chest, where you guys were shaking him and trying to wake him up, he his hands were empty, but the minute he opened his eyes and he lifted up, he has this black onyx box just resting in his hands. Uh, I will... It, who's... Are, you, are they, like, crowded around me? Are they in, like, a semi... Yeah, yeah. we're over I assume so. I'm gonna throw the box under my arm and grab dirt and just hug him. Oh. I, I oh. swear to God, if you leave without saying something again, I'm gonna beat the living shit out of you. I'm sorry, I just... Just, just you said you'd be okay. Just stay close. Just okay. stay. Okay. Who said that? The man who came to me in my sleep. What? Just, we'll we'll talk about this later. But okay, just stay with the party. For the love of God, stay with the party. I'm sorry. You no, you have nothing to be sorry about. You came apparently at the right time for Shart, but just don't. I was just. It was like, it's like I just knew where he was. Do you have a name? Do you... Are you okay? Okay. And as you look around, like, all the different chaos that was ensuing, all the undead had fallen. All the wolves are gone. Everything is just... Everything is burning, and you just hear some cries, and it just... It looks like everything is just demolished. There's no sign of life anywhere. Uh, I'll be like... And it's about 3 a.m. at this point. Uh... I have a do box. a lot of time traveling. Yeah. Um, let's find out about... Let's get back to the church, and then we'll figure that out. Irene is there alone. Oh. Oh. So... Yeah, no. no let's, let's, let's go. Let's do that. Let's go. <clears throat> so, as you trek out, you just see more and more carnage. Um, and on the way over, you see... Kind of tucked to the side by bushes. Uh, if you all want to roll perceptions for me, I'll give it to you. But we'll see how good you can see it. Yeah. Just for Kinked. the sake of it. Uh, 13. 7. 11. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as you're walking, and it's a brisk walk, um, all of you are just kind of reeling from everything, and Dirk kind of is in front of you, and he stops, and you kind of bump. And, and he goes, Sir. And he points over to the bushes, and you see, like, a hand. Uh, I'll oh, no. use... Can I use my divine sense to see if it's anything that's celestial fiend or undead with it's 60 feet but that's not behind total sure. cover so i'll use my first do we know the hand divine sense you would have to see what's attached it a, to it it's attached to a body it's it just kind of peeking out yeah i didn't know if it was like something <clears throat> that we so i activate recognize. my is there anything within 60 feet that i see no. so, so i'll run up to the body and you go over and laying on his stomach is Pietro. and 
outstretched, tucked under his arm, looks to be a big box. I'll open the box. Okay. And inside is your armor. Uh, you guys run ahead. I'm going to put this on. So you're going to put, put this on, on now? It's like 30 minutes. Splint mail, man. Yeah. I'll. We should probably I'll do this later. It. It's fine. Okay. I mean, I can hold it. All right, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so go up to the uh, the church. There's just more carnage of what you saw Ab City. You just kind of see the aftermath of everything. And where you saw the circle that Vin was in, you see a very faint kind of like uh, pentagram. Kind of like a crop circle. Okay. And looking around, you don't see Strahd anywhere. Can I roll... Can I gain information on like from that the pentagram? You can you can roll an arcana check. Eleven. You don't know too much about magic. It looks like it's some kind of like teleportation like remnant. Okay. So yes. Go ahead. I was gonna say, also just because we didn't specify, <clears throat> um I took that axe with me. Okay. Because I'm curious. I assume. Second. Yes. Um, while we're still outside, I um, want to see, uh, obviously, if I see Vin's paw prints, I'm assuming that I would. Mm-hmm. Um, see if I can gain any information from, you know, obviously, yeah. that portal, if I can gain any information from tracking through Vin's scent. You can roll a nature check if you'd like. Okay. I would, I would like. Okay. Oh, God, my nature sucks natural one okay i mean as you're looking you just see the paw prints go up to the circle and then the minute it goes to the circle they're like gone i I assumed i assumed that was going to be the case this thing was fucking big yeah they're about the size of like short's hand is like absidy's hand yeah so like you guys uh don't know if you realize that whenever you guys were like talking about us fighting big wolves i was calling them cubs that's what i'm used to so you were raised by those kind of wolves. Yeah. Oh, you're the runt of the litter. He is, in <laughs> fact, the runt of the litter. <laughs> Got it. You could, you could say that. Yeah. They, I'm, I'm not the runt of the pack, but... Can I cast another divine sense on the pentagram and see anything? Sure. Is there any? Do I get a blip off anything? You kind of just get this, like, putrid, like, arcane, like, disgusting smell. Does it, do I get anything off of... Um, Celestial or fiend like from the axe that Shard is carrying? Um It's only for a minute. You do not. Okay. Um but as you do that, dirt kinda of, <laughs> uh, what is that? Uh I smell <laughs> it too. It j- <laughs> let's go inside. Let's let's get inside. Okay. And as you get inside, uh you are welcome to the remains of Father Lucian. It looks like he's kind of just splayed open, like the wolves kinda of ravaged him. I had oh. to listen to him die. Oh boy! I'm am so, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you, are you okay? Go. I I couldn't do anything. Go check. I on didn't Irina. have my armor. Go go check I'll on go. Irina. And I go to Irina. I'll kick in Yeska's door. It's empty, and you see the window open. Call for as him. the breeze is coming in. Call for him. And you see that bear is gone as well. Good, he's got protection then. <laughs> um, so you go to Irina, who is just... She's gonna... She looks like she's pretty out of it. I just... Let me see how out she is. Okay. She's gonna be out for, honestly, the next three hours. Okay. She's just kind of... She looks peaceful. And she doesn't look to be hurt, or... She's still there. She's still intact. Okay. I go up to her... And I, I whisper, I'm so sorry that I couldn't protect you. It will never happen again. And I kiss her on the forehead. Mm-hmm. I tuck her in. I And I just collect my things. My holy water. My my armor. And uh, I go back out. Okay. Just I go out to the, um, the pentagram. And I'm just kind of... Back outside? Yeah, I'm just kind of okay. remembering. I'm gonna pray inside. Do I have to? 
pray meta. Do I have to pray to the Raven Queen as well? Is that something that has to happen? You have to make both of them offerings to the Raven Queen. Offerings, got it. So, uh, Dirt kind of follows with you, and he goes. And what are you doing, Shark? Uh, Part of me wants to take a short rest, but I think we're going to be here for a while, so I got time. But uh, I want to investigate the axe. You inspect it, and it's this ornate gorgeous looking axe it looks nasty as shit it looks looks better than uh vin like the the axe vin mm. like it's it's a nasty fucking thing it looks awesome so <laughs> uh, does it have any special abilities you can roll arcana and see if it's special looking. that's not gonna go well have any arcana. 12 Looks fancy. Um, I like it. <laughs> you do have to spend the next hour looking at it, attuning to it. It is a magical item. I'm game. Okay, so let's uh, see where we're going. I'll be back, guys. I'll. I mean, we're not like near you. Yeah. Uh, dirt. We've. <clears throat> you've had this aura around you for the last little bit. About a day. It's yeah. Been, it's been about 24 hours since I started noticing it, and the other party members have seen it too. Really? I, I don't think it's something to be alarmed about, but I think you're on a path. It's, oh God. I Literally, what, yeah. I, I don't know what path. <laughs> Is it whore? Maybe it's whore? I, I do not Is whore believe handsome? that it's. He's not. Okay. He's quite ugly he's and he and he looks at you and he kind of goes I think I know the answer but he's not the morning lord is he that's how he introduced himself we will get everything figured out don't you worry and he and he looks at you and he goes I know I know that this is like a, a house to Pelor yes but, and he points at the symbol of Pelor. He goes, that wasn't the crest he was wearing. And he kind of tilts over to that faded crest I talked about a really mm-hmm. long time ago. And he goes, yeah. that looks a little bit more like it. We need to, there's nothing for us in this town right now. There's no way for us to get any kind of information, but we'll figure it out. Just stay close. For the love of God, stay close. I will. Let's. You're my squire, and and things are happening now. So I need you to be at my hip as frequently as you can be. Okay. It's time to start taking things a little more seriously. Sure. Um, what's what is that? And he looks at your box, and you just feel like this weight. Honestly, forgot all about it. <sighs> yeah. You let's, let's open it up and see. Okay. So you open the box and you hear this kind of like as this kind of like smoke comes off of it. And inside it looks like a um, it looks like a sickle. It's about a hand. There's a pole about this long with a ball at the end. It looks like a spiked ball. And then on the top is this long kind of sickle coming out to a really sharp point. It's really nasty looking. You do have to attune to it. Okay. I'll uh, I'll sit um, I think I need to be with this for a little bit, but okay. I'm be- gonna I'm gonna check on Absidy. Yeah, check check on him, and I'll attune to okay the weapon. So you will take the hour to attune. You will take the hour to attune. So during the hour, um, Dirt uh, is gonna come out, and he sees you studying the the sigil, and. See if he knows what it is. Why am I using this one? I'm not using my DM one. That's probably why I was rolling so low. Um, he kind of goes. That looks like. That doesn't look very nice. Looks a little nasty. 
What happened? Strahd summoned Vin to kill his brother? His Vin. To kill us. Uh, But when Vin walked up, I guess he smelled Shart and he just nudged. And I had to make a choice between saving Shart or finding Shart when he told me he was down or staying with Irina, and I chose Shart, but he got away. Vin got away, or Vin's gone, but Strahd got away. And the whole time, I I couldn't do anything. My rapier literally went through his, his chest, and it just, he pulled it out like it was nothing. And I'm tired of being weak, and I'm tired of having to sneak around because I don't have the strength to protect anyone. Just the power that he has. I don't know. And Dirk kind of looks at you and looks back at the sigil and he just kind of sits next to you. And you're both kind of just staring at this thing and he's like, I, I'm i sorry. I know, I know what that feels like and it's not a good feeling. No. She's still here, though. Shard's still here, though. That's that's something, right? Yeah. But clearly he can show up at any time. And if I couldn't protect, protect her now, I'm not going to be able to protect her later. I don't we, know. We got to get the rest of those things. We need to go to the tower. The Ember Temple? I think, is it the Sun Tower? It's Amber Tower. Oh, yeah. The Sun Sword's in the Amber Tower. That's what it is. Okay. I think that's our next move. I think that's a good move. And so the rest of the hour kind of just plays out. Are you doing anything specific? Or Um, just kind of. I do, if there's a library of any kind in the church. Oh, in the church? Yeah. It would be kind of like. Shred it up, but you might be able to find something if you roll investigation. Yeah, okay. Not 20. Shit. Uh, as you go through, you find different papers, uh, different gods. Um, and something kind of piques your interest. You see, it looks like a nastier looking kind of book. Uh, it's in a language you don't really quite understand, but it piques your interest. All right, I take it with me. Okay. And you pick it up. In the meantime, Dirt's going to go back to pray. Um, okay. And you guys do the full hour, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that is yours. And that is yours. Mike's yours is double-sided. And mine's double-sided? Yes. And then did you open the armor yet? Uh, uh, no, I did not. Okay. And I will, I'll do that now and start putting it on. Okay. And then that's yours as well. Yours is very interesting, Mike. Yeah. It can, it can get a lot. It gets intense. Yeah. Um. I know you're not super thrilled, but it's really cool. We're, uh, are we hanging out here for a couple minutes? Yeah. Okay. Bathroom. Um. Cool. So, as you're looking at it, Rufio, Mm -hmm. you find that the handle snaps open, and when you pull it apart, there's this massive chain that comes out. And so now you have a uh, five feet range and you now have a ranged weapon of 10 feet. So as you can see, it can either be one handed or two handed. Mm-hmm. Jeez. This is nasty. And then as you go, it's going to get better and better. Mm-hmm. And then that one, as you go and you start killing things with it and you get higher, it's going to get better and better. Now question. Yes. <clears throat> 
the berserk yes. part of it. Mm-hmm. If I go berserk, mm-hmm. is that just killing other creatures that were fighting, or does that mean I could go after party members? It is possible you okay. could go after party members. Okay. Well, I'm attuned to it already, so this is where I'm at now. I made it just in case you wanted it. But the damage on it is spicy. And then if you do 19s and 20s, yeah. and then you're still getting more shit for it. Now the HP... Yeah. <clears throat> the it's, HP increases. So right now it's at 6. Yeah. For each level you attain. So my HP would go up from 52 to 58 mm-hmm. for having it. Yep. What is it? What did I miss? Kid, I'm, I mean, I'll share it with it's you It's on D&D Beyond, so you can go into your equipment and just look up Berserker's uh, Great Axe. So oh, have you add it in there already? No. You could just go to manage equipment, and then it's already in there because it's an official oh, okay. weapon. Um, Yours is the only one that's homebrewed. Yeah. Uh, and Absidius is not because he doesn't have one. Fuck so Absidy. two-handed is when I use it as, a, as the scythe. Two-handed is, yes, when you use okay. it as the scythe. So it's 2d6 slashing. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's when you use it as the whip. Okay. So the extra attack, what I mean is in your attack action, basically you can attack four times. Oh. So you do one, and in the attack action, it's kind of like a swing motion, mm-hmm. and then that's one attack okay. action. And then if you do your second one, you have, so you have the potential to hit. So one-handed times. is just using it. Yeah, at, when you're up close. Yeah. Okay, and then two-handed is using it as the... Yeah. yeah. Uh, It's a monk weapon, basically. 2d6 slashing plus 1d4 necro and Necrotic damage. Yep, and your proficiency. So it's it's nasty. Plus three on top of that. Mm -hmm. And then it... Jesus Christ. And then plus 1d4 bludgeoning and my proficiency. So the... For the bludgeoning is the is the bottom part. Mm-hmm. So that ball is bludgeoning. Yeah. The so top is two-handed slashing. is I go like this and then yeah, yep, got it. Heard that. Um, holy fuck! No. So it's Berserker's Great Axe. What do Berserker's I add great axe, yeah. uh, to this for my plus? It'd is be it? it's a finesse weapon. Okay. So when it's two-handed, it would be dexterity. Okay. And then when it's one-handed, it would be strength. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Cool. And then as it gets, you get bigger, it might get bigger. Cool. This is going to be really cool. I found some cool stuff. I'm excited. That's awesome. So I thought you might like something, like it's not quite a sword, because I'm like, you have enough swords. You can buy a sword. Let's do something cooler than a sword. I have a lot of swords. Um, I know we had my, um, we had my AC at 18 originally, Mm -hmm. and Pietro's armor makes it It's a 17. slint mail, so it's a natural 17, and then you add all your shit with it. Got it. Okay, so I'm at 19 now. So you can go on can you D&D just- Beyond and just go to splint mail. The only difference is it has the, the gauntlets. The silver gauntlets. He has yeah. silver gauntlets. So you can do blood, you can punch it, and then, you know, it won't heal back. Got it. That way you can get up close and personal if you need to. So basically, the what what mine mine is his is super cool. I like his. <clears throat> the Berserker's Great Axe. It is does one d twelve of damage plus my strength plus one. So right now that's one d twelve plus six, and it also is plus one on the attack as well. So my attack rolls would be plus nine. Wow. Mm-hmm. With that. I also, when I'm attuned to this weapon, my HP increases by one for each level that I've gained. So my HP would go up six more. Dope. So I'd go up to 58. However, there is a curse on it. It is a cursed weapon. Uh, the axe is cursed, and becoming attuned to it extends the curse to you. As long as you remain cursed, you are unwilling to part with the axe, keeping it within reach at all times. You have disadvantage on attack rolls with weapons other than this one, unless no foe is within 60 feet of you that you can see or hear. Whenever a hostile creature damages you while the axe is in your possession, you must succeed on a DC 15 wisdom saving throw or go berserk. While berserk, you must use your action each round to attack the creature nearest to you with the axe. If you uh, can make extra attacks as part of the... uh, Yeah, if you can make extra attacks as part of the attack action... You use those extra attacks, moving to attack the next nearest creature after you, uh, uh, the next nearest creature after you fell uh, your current target. If you have multiple possible targets, you attack one at random. 
you are berserk until you start your next turn with no creatures within 60 feet um, that you can see or hear. So stay very far away from shark. That yeah. Well, that's the thing is because we wanted to learn about it. I'm attuned to it. Yeah. So that happened now. Yeah, but you don't have to use it. Yeah, he does. It's no, disadvantage. He's disadvantage. cursed to it. He, it, yeah. it employs. I have disadvantage on anything else that I use unless yep. we're in a situation where you can't. See I have advantage, else. which means I'd have a straight roll. So. Wait, so you just don't have? If you can't see the enemies, mm-hmm. I have one more cloak. <laughs> Let's put it around his head. <laughs> <laughs> You're the blind barbarian. Blind barbarian. The barbarian. Uh, okay. Um, plus my dex isn't great, but that's okay. We're gonna pump that up. Um, <clears throat> so I guess we'll all just kind of sit. Do I have like a sheath or something to put this? It, it, you can kind of clip it. Okay. Oh, I have a picture. Um, well. What were the deeds under you? I was reading. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fucking dope. It looks like yeah, the, cool. it's the Ninja Gaiden one. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. Yep. Um, <clears throat> only the chain goes in. So yeah, that way you don't I have can, to always have it out. Yeah. So it just looks like you have a sickle on Yeah, it. I'll just Sorry. clip it to my belt and like <clears throat> be dressed in the splint and whatnot. Well, uh, first, how's everybody doing? Everybody all right? I'm pretty beat up. I'm physically fine. How was that? I don't want to talk about it. I just want to kill Strahd. Let's kill Strahd. We're gonna kill Strahd. Uh, I will. What's what? What time is it? Like, it's like three. Yeah. Oh, four. Do you guys want to? Yeah, four. Do you guys want to rest here before we do anything else? Honestly, I feel like if <clears throat> we're gonna go to the Watcher's house, we should probably do it now before people get up. Looters. All right, we'll go to the Watchers, and uh, maybe we rest there, bar the door. I mean, yeah. It's probably the safest place in the city right now. Probably. Do you want to take Irina with us? I don't know. This might be the safest place for her. Do you want to stay here with her? I don't know. That's what got us in trouble last time. I mean, there's no, there's no right answer right now. What do you think we need? She's probably safer with all of us. We can always bring her back here later. I have a question, though. What? So, what happened here exactly? Because I see the claw fucking mark. So, Strahd was in here? No, those were wolves. Okay. Wolves came in and, and killed uh, um, Father Lucian. We can, we can fight wolves, right? Yeah, we can fight wolves. And we're just trying to keep Strahd away? Yeah. But he's got he's got that hold on her. We gotta take her with us. And you see dirt kinda of concentrate. Am I doing it? Nope. And you see like just very dimly Why don't why don't we take the bones with us to wherever we're going? Right? That's what kept Strahd out. That was the whole reason why we had to fucking get bones, right? We take those with us? Is that how it works? Yeah, because remember, didn't he say that it was un, like, unprotected? The bones with were that? the only reason they couldn't, that he couldn't enter the... Yeah, that was what they said. But, That's why so they took... So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and you see him kind of just go in the office and you hear rustling, like, shit! And you see, like, like a lightning bug, like... And you see him with the sack and he goes... Take the bones with us? Let's go. Let's do it. It's, they're not gonna use them too soon um and then how did you want to take irena um <clears throat> sure, i'm gonna I, yeah i'm gonna try to carry her i know it's not gonna work so do like a, i'll i'll so, help so i'll i'll okay. try to do it 16 16 and then I, i'm gonna say with rufio's help like you're able to kind of wedge her a little awkwardly on your shoulders the kind of like a fireman's carry mm-hmm. um yeah, but they're like her hair's like dragging yeah. on the floor, and but you're you're holding her up. Okay. Okay. So, um, everything is just smoldering ash at this point, as it takes you, you know, a good forty minutes to get from St. Andrews to the Lady Watchers. 
It's about 440. You just you see this. You see dead ra- were ravens. You see um, just civilians. Just so so much fucking carnage. Uh, and eventually you get to the Watcher House, uh, and it looks it still looks like it's unaffected. Go inside. Mm. Just kind of like. Well, Start poking around. Yeah, you hear, there um, was that creepy thing downstairs that we didn't ever get to check out in the cellar. So, the daughter. I care less about the kids right now. I was gonna say at this point, you hear like crying upstairs and whatnot. Dirt's like, do you want me to go look? Yeah, you you should handle that. Okay. I don't think they're gonna want to see me. All right, C- cool. And he goes, oh my God. Because <laughs> he passes by the bodies of Ernst and Lady Fiona. Um, I you hear do, like dragging. I didn't do. Like he's dragging them back in. <laughs> I didn't I didn't do Ernst. That wasn't me. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> and you just kind of. So down to the basement. Uh, making past everything, you see the the bones and the skeletons of things that were coming up. But as the magic kind of dissipated, the magic kind of ends there. You go inside and you're in this big open room that uh, has different cots. It looks like it's like a servant's quarters, but for like, you see cloaks and you see different things. You would guess this is kind of like she was in some dark shit and this is where they held their meetings. Uh, and behind that is a just a black door. I'll use my I'll use another divine sense. Uh, okay. After I open the door, because then I can see all. And of it's that. beings, or it's it is uh, divine. That's too far down. Uh, what is it? Features and traits. Uh, as an action, you can detect good and evil until the end of your turn. You can sense anything affected by the hollow spell, or know the location of any celestial fiend or undead that is not behind total cover. So a being, yeah, yeah. Uh, you find. You find a hodgepodge. You find a good hint of like something positive and something that could be possibly negative behind the door. Okay. Um, I'll go towards the positive, like little well, blip. They're both. Oh, they're behind both. the same door. I'll open the door. Uh, you open it, and inside it looks like it's kind of like cluttered stuff. Um, you can roll investigation if you like. I don't know if you're you're there as well. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just sitting with Irina reading that book, even though I don't. I, would, I can't read it. I go with him. You go with him. Okay. Yeah. Eight. Eight. You can roll investigation if you like. Oh, I'm not going to be good at helping with that. One. <laughs> Modded one. Um, You see kind of different things. You see like a dagger. You see like a staff, weird staff looking thing with like a blade on it. You find like old rusty swords and shit. You just got a whole bunch of stuff that you kind of just drag out and put on the, on the floor. You're like... It's kind of our inventory. This is our loot, I guess. Yeah. This is up by me now? This is down in that same No, room. we're still down in the same oh, Unless yeah. you want to bring them up. I don't know what you guys want to do. Uh, is there any other... Anything else in the in the area? Is there any like rooms, closets, anything like that? No. Just open floor in that closet. Um, can I... Uh, can I roll... An arcana to see because I know I got the blip, so I mean it's a I don't have anything that's sure. gonna add to it, but go ahead. Maybe it'll be better than an eight. Uh, Eighteen. There you go. Looking at it, um, you kind of look everything o- over. The swords are swords. Um, the staff is interesting. Looking at it, you it's it looks it's a morning star. It's this giant fucking bow staff. Uh, and it looks like it has dingy, like it hasn't been cleaned in a really long time. Mm-hmm. It has this dingy kind of like gold. It looks like it's solid gold. And it has different reds and whatnot. And when you inspect it a little bit closer, uh, you are getting some kind of archaic ar- vibes from it. Yeah. Um, with your 18 as well, you kind of look everything over and you find this. It looks like it's wrapped in kind of like this purple napkin. And when you unwrap it, it looks like this very... Uh, ornate, kind of nasty-looking dagger. Uh, I'll take out the dagger that I have, and I'll slide that one in my 
Okay. Pouch, and then I'll take the Morning Star and like put it on my back, and we'll figure out the semantics of it all later. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, and everything else will just kind of. Everything else is yeah. Just, those just, are the two things you get the blip from. Yeah, you get so the I'll just go. get the good blip from the Morning Star. You get the bad mm-hmm. blip from the dagger. Yeah, I'll actually keep my other dagger too. Okay, because it's okay. throwing things. So as you go up, what are we doing? Did you find anything? I found a. a I got a weird energy off of this dagger and and this staff that I think is solid gold. It's not for you. Yeah, it's fine. Let me see the dagger. Mm, hand him dagger. Um, I also want to inspect and or arcana. What, what would it be? Inspect It'd be uh, arcana. arcana. Arcana, yeah. 15. What was it, 15? 15. Um, it just it looks really nasty when you pull the blade out. It's just a solid black onyx kind of blade of steel. And you put it back and it just it has different serpents and different like red eyes around the serpents and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna give it to you. Can I have this? I didn't get a good energy from it. I don't care. Absidy, that's not... That's not like you. <clears throat> I... We already have one cursed weapon. I don't know if we want another. You don't know he has a cursed weapon. Didn't he say it? Did you say you don't know yet you're cursed? Oh yeah. right, we already have you know. I, Look, I need could, i i couldn't I couldn't protect Irina. A dagger is going to help you protect her better. I don't know. This one looks if, tough. If if you want it, you can have it. Okay, thank you. I think it might be an attunement. That's also in the D and D Beyond. You can go in and look up. It is attunement. I don't know if it is. You can go to manage equipment, and then it will tell you if it's attunement or not. Okay. And slowly, dirt kind of comes out, and you hear the qui- the hush, the cries kind of hush. And he goes, "I I don't feel proud about it, but I I had to lie to him. Hopefully, in the morning, whoever whoever's standing might be able to help. But it's what's be- it's what's best for them. Yeah. I'm sorry that you had to do that for." Your- it's okay. Part of the job. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. So, um, I'm very tired. Yeah, I think we all are. Uh, yeah, we'll all just kind of divvy up. And, uh, should we, should we go on a watch? Uh, I would say probably. It's a rough place right now. Yeah, so we'll, we'll take turns doing a watch. And, um, Absidy, don't. Don't worry about taking watch. Just go with Irina. It'll be me, Dirt, and Shart. We'll take care of it. Okay. Thank you. And uh, I'll take first watch. Okay. Um, I will long rest. I'll just shorten things up. Nothing really happens on the watch. You just hear more like animal noises outside. By the time you finish, it's daylight starting to come out. Because it's, you know, basically 5 a.m. when you started watch. Yeah. Um... So it's really only you that stays up. Because okay. by the time it's like 7, and unless you want to stay watch for the whole day. No. Or you want everyone to just kind of sleep. Yeah, I, I mean, I want to take a long rest as well okay. to to get. So I'll, like, wake shut up. and. Okay. If you guys want to do, like, day shifts, you can do that as well. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, Shart, you don't really feel anything. You hear maybe, like, some people stirring outside, and you hear cries, and how did this happen, and... We're supposed to be protected. Things like that. And then dirt. We'll do one and then we'll I guess the last two hours we'll just kinda leave open and barricade the door. Okay. And you all gain the benefits of a long rest. Uh, make sure you uncheck that reset maximum HP before you hit it. Did you do it already? Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it's something I I almost did it, so um I just changed it to the roll. Mm-hmm. So now it shouldn't reset. I guess the we go to the. <clears throat> what do we do now, guys? What, is Irina awake? Is what like I'll yeah, Irina is going to be able to wake up. And uh, how are you guys doing in here? Kinda, well, I'll just I'll go. Thank you for reminding. Mm-hmm. I kind of go over and Irina is the first one that's awake. 
and she's just kind of staring at the at the wall. She's sitting up. Hey. Where are we? Um, Lady, Lady Fiona's house. Do you remember what happened? No. I remember. My head is fuzzy. Strahd showed up. He was here? He he was at the church. Um, he called out your name. Your real name. Tatiana. Tatiana. That name is familiar, but I'm trying to... I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember. It's okay. Um, he put you under his spell again and almost took you. And I couldn't protect you. But I am here. The only reason you're still here is Strahd decided to play a game. He wanted to... I don't know. Toy with us? Shart went down. And, uh... Is he... Is he... He's, he's dead? No, he's fine now. But he let me keep you in the church while I went to go help him. And, um, I guess he let you stay, but we have the bones with us now, so we should stay away from us. I don't know, but it's, it's, and she kind of shushes you as she cradles your head. She kind of rests her chin on top of yours, your head. I am here now. That's, is, that's all that matters. You're, you're okay. That's all that matters. But I couldn't keep you safe. If it wasn't for Straw just fucking with us, you'd be dead. I'd be dead. It's not all of your fault. It is both of our faults. We split uh, from the rest of the group. We had no choice. It's not all on you. It's, it's, it's fine. I have you. You have me. Whatever to whoever Tatiana is, I am I am not that person anymore. Okay. And you just kinda hold each other for I'll say it's about forty minutes before everyone starts stirring, so you just kinda hold each other in, in silence. As uh Rufio kinda knocks on the door about forty minutes later. You guys up? Yeah. How's everybody doing today? I'm very thirsty. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, we gotta unfortunately get on the, uh, get on the track to moving, cause got some stuff we need to accomplish today. Okay. Um, I'll throw her the, my, my water. Okay. And she just, she fucking downs it. I didn't want any. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So, sorry, sorry. Just... Very thirsty. Um, as you go outside, uh, and you see the green, like, grass of Lady Watcher's house, and it looks like a giant fucking ring as you just see everything is just fucking down. Like, there's just piles of ash everywhere, and you see some people kind of, like, walking around. And, um, as you leave the grounds, you go to the town square, and charred up and burned up, you see on top a banner that says... Day of the Sun Festival. And under it, all will be well. Uh, I climb. So, wait. Say, is it on poles? What? Yeah, they're like, they're like tapestries that are kind of like put up. It's like a banner. So, I would say it's between like two pieces of wood that are still kind of intact. I want to cut it down. Okay. So, I hop up and I just, I cut it down. All right. That's it. I just don't want to see it. Sure. Okay. Um, as you go, there are some injured people that, you know, they kind of don't pay you any mind because they're just focusing on everything. And you hear behind you as you're all kind of looking around, you're like, <coughs> number one customer. And you turn around and there's Erwin and it looks like his hand, his arms in a sling and his wife and his kids are, they're really banged up, but I'm so happy to see you guys. Holy <laughs> shit. 
Just as I be as weird to see you. Huh. Shit. What happened to you guys last night? Uh, the, uh, the tavern was on fire. I told uh, the wife to shift and take the kids and go as far as they can. They ran into some trouble, but I, I stuck through. Tried. We lost a lot of good men. I see that. They... They'll be avenged. I have no doubt. Is there anything we can do to help you guys? We're probably not going to be in town much longer. No, I... We have to rebuild. Hopefully that Electrum we gave you will help. Hmm? The Electrum, the bag of... Oh, <laughs> yes, that will help with supplies and the little of us that are left. We will rebuild, Valakai. Just learned how to say that. I was going to say, both of you were like, huh? What is it? Vala what? I'm sorry, what What did you call it? Velikai. We are in Velikai. It's not Velaki? Oh. Huh. Oh. Yeah, uh, forgot to. Yep. Velikai. Um. You, and he kind of, you know, he looks at Irina and he goes, I don't I know you from somewhere? She goes, I don't know what you're talking about. Must have one of those faces, I guess. Yeah, it, she just looks familiar. Mm. Yeah. Put your head up, put your head up, put your head up. <laughs> so, uh, where will you be going next, brave adventurer? Well, uh, Strahd definitely flexed his muscles last night, and, uh, I think we need to do some things to get stronger so we will be going through some trials that we were told about okay well if you ever find your way back depending on how much we have rebuilt you always have a place here you always have a place at the ruins best beat soup and Vol volakai guaranteed now yeah definitely the best a little bit soup. of dark humor <laughs> And he kind of chuckles. It's appreciated. He's like, Ow. Uh, Is it? They're just like broken and stuff. I can't like. Yeah. And he goes, well. Um, can I? Would he have any use for my uh, chainmail? Mm -hmm. I'll hand him my my chainmail. What is this for? Protect yourself. When we come back, I'm. I want to see you and the kids again. So. On. We'll uh, keep walking, I guess. Um, Is there any sight of the Burgermaster? Burger, any anything? Well, right before you leave, he goes. Um, just so you know, despite not being wet ravens, you are you are part of the keepers of the feather. So, you walk with us. We'll help as best we can. Did did he did he tell us what the keepers? Has he said that before? Okay. No. What? What's that? This is my clan. It is all of us wear ravens. Like, you have groups. You have societies. We we stay together. We try to protect as best we can. That's why we moved here. To make sure Valakai was protected. We didn't do a bang-up job, but we fought till our last breaths. Well, that makes us mighty. There's still a foundation, so all is not lost. <laughs> I guess so. And, uh, yeah, with that, I'm gonna just gonna turn and then go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you see where the Burgermaster's kind of, like, area is, but it's everything is just fucking ash. No sign of him or no. none of the dogs, nothing. No. Unfortunately. Is it is it something worth rooting through the uh, the rubble at this point? No, I would just say no. Like you can when you go there, like it's just there's nothing. Everything has been eviscerated. Oh, actually, before we've already left. No, we're still in town. Okay, I want to ask Irwin. I I'll wait until people start to leave, and then I want to stay back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, Erwin. Oh, uh, yes. How, how many languages do you know? Um, I know a few. Why? I have a book, and I don't know what language it's in. I can't read it. Do you think you might be able to read it? Or let me know what language it is, at least? I can do my best. And so he kind of crouches down as you pull it out, and he goes, Oh. Okay, that is... I definitely don't know how to speak. How did you find this? I'm going to have to keep that to myself. This is some pretty dark stuff. You be wary with this. It's in the devil's tongue, abyssal. Abyssal? I don't know how to read it, but I can identify it. That's abyssal. That's all I needed to know. <coughs> and don't tell the others if we're ever back here. Just keep it between us. Sure. And then do a little little fist bump thing. There he goes. Please, uh, just be careful with that. Please. No promises. Fuck it. And then I scamper out. Okay. Pitter patter, pitter patter. <laughs> <laughs> There's no more pitter patter in that step. Pit, pit, pit. <laughs> no patter? No, um, there's no patter. What next? What are we doing? Uh, I think we need to go to the Amber Temple with Casimir. I think that's our next step. Plus, there's that big fat guy that tried to throw the little girl in the lake. I'd like to pay him a visit before we leave. I have some aggression I'd like to take out. Oh. Okay. Um, quick question. What's that on your back? <coughs> uh, it's just something we found in the... Or I found in the basement of... Oh. That's neat. You want it? I mean... It would be kind of cool to have. Is it like way taller than him? It is. <laughs> I will absolutely give it to him. <laughs> okay, and he's like, "Okay, it's pretty heavy, so be careful." No, it seems heavy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's solid gold. Okay. Pretty sure. Puts it on his back. Um, okay. And as you, it does. It kind of looked like when he takes it. Uh, it looks like it suits him. Looks looks good on you, kid. Thank you. Um, should I do what you guys did? Should I just sit and stare at this thing for like an hour? Uh, not here. Let's go see your girlfriend, and then we'll. What? Figure out what. Blush. His cheeks turn turn red. He's like, no, I don't. I don't have a girlfriend. Yeah, bad boys often don't. Yeah, because we like vaginas. Fuck, oh God, so lame. Yeah, that wasn't. And good. he started just like, fuck. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, Ice Man. Because I'm cool. Mm -hmm. So as you go through just the fucking eviscerated town, you get to the, the guards and the guards are all gone. You see some of them at their post, like just impaled. Um, and you slowly go off the beaten path and you go to the left and you see the, what you call it, the, uh, the hill. And you see all the different, you don't see the dark elves outside. Um, and when you go up, you see that all the stagecoaches for the Vistani are gone. Um, only thing left are the remains of one very fat gentleman, portly gentleman. Well, with different lash marks inside on him, and yeah, that's upsetting. And I'll, I'll like stomp it into like dust. You just you stomp this gelatinous fat guy into just jelly until it's just hair and cartilage and blood and meat and tissue. Dirt is at the bottom of the hill, not... <laughs> as soon as he, he sees your foot go up, he's like, I'm good. <laughs> nope. Got what he deserved. And, uh, yeah. Go over to Casimir. Okay. And you knock on the door and you hear, like, who is it? Uh, it's your adventuring friends <clears throat> and you kind of door opens and you go in Casimir and he goes I thought oh shit we just saw fire and smoke everyone okay no as okay as we can be you have a little less pep in your step yeah well Valaki just burned to shit so Valakai 
Balakai. Well, shit. Okay. Strahd showed up. He was here? He was... What the fuck? And you he, and he has his two guards, and he yells at something in them in Elven, which I think you speak Elven. He's I like, do. The son of a bitch was here. He was so <clears throat> close. You wouldn't have taken him down. Do you respond that in common or Elvish? Elvish. And he looks at you and he goes, I'll never know now, will I? I know. Shit. So, what's the next move? Amber Temple. I think there's something that we need there. You're going to come with me to the Amber Temple? We're ready for this now. Yeah, we don't have a choice. We need to go now. Okay. But you need to come with us, and your guards need to stay here. That seems a little fishy. No. They need to watch her. And I'll gesture over to Irina. Just, are you saying this in Elvish or in... Elvish, yeah. Okay. And Absidy, short, like, you're kind of watching this interaction, and you see Rufio gesture over to Irina, and... Do, do I, you speak Elvish? I, I barely speak in general. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I... We have to babysit your girlfriend. First of all, she's not my girlfriend. I have a Vistani girlfriend, and she's great. Uh, second, Strahd came after her. Why does he want her? We're not sure. Okay. So, but he doesn't know that she's here, and we have a bit of a cover for her, so... Okay, um... I can definitely do my best. Um... When can we leave? We can gather some things and we can leave a few hours. I'll convey everything to these guys. Okay. You want her to stay here? Yeah. It's better than being out in the open with us. Plus, it's gonna if, be quiet if, during this, so I'm gonna go pee. Yeah. I'll, I'll pull Absidy to the side, or Absidy and Shart, and... Guys... I think I think the Sun Sword's at the Amber Temple. We need that if we're gonna defeat Strahd. We do. If we if we get the Sun Sword, who knows if he's going to show up again. Having Irina with us is is nothing but a distraction. If we keep the bones here, she's guarded. You were we were there. We were in the same town and he still showed up. What we need to do this. We need to we need to get this sword. We can't pussyfoot around because we're scared of him or what he might do. I'm not scared of him. I hate him. I'm, and I want to keep Irina safe, and the best way for me to keep her safe is to have her with me Absidy. and the bones. I understand what you're saying. But this powerlessness you're feeling right now, you remember the first time we fought Strahd? Do you remember when I went off? into the woods and I smashed my claymore against the trees you're feeling exactly what I felt in that moment you need to you need to know with us is not the best place for her how many times have we seen her cut open and slashed open in battle she can take care of herself but putting her out in the open does nothing but invite Strahd <laughs> We don't know how these bones work. If we put her in a confined space and he doesn't know that these elves are here, or otherwise he would have killed Casimir already. He's already tried once. You're right. I hate it, <sighs> but you're right. She stays here. If you think that's a legitimate way to get him down... I'm in. But I know that my brother's there. Just know. Do anything to have him free. And you do anything to protect Strahd? I will slit your throat. Guys. We can't be like this. I'm not doing anything to protect Strahd. I'm doing anything to protect my brother. That's all I'm saying. And you heard me too. 
Let's go. I'm tired of pussyfooting around. Yeah. And I walk outside. Or, and also go to the bathroom. Okay. As you as you do this, um, it takes about an hour or two to get everything ready, like horses ready. He gets everything prepared the whole time of Dirch just meditating on this thing. And uh, around an hour, um, you kind of sit next to him and you're like, eh, what is that? A- anything? He goes, I don't, I don't, may- maybe, and as he's, like, his eyes have been closed this whole time. As you look, you see that the dingy gold starts getting brighter and it starts getting its luster back. And on this morning star, you start seeing rays of the sun start to poke out and materialize into gold. And that clunkiness, when he first got it, when he tilted it up as heavy, it looks like it's just light as a feather now. And he goes, oh. I think it suits you. Uh, Roll a religion check. Uh, Natural 19. You look at it, and it looks like that old symbol of the Morning Lord. It's as if it was waiting for him. That's Don't, positive, right? Definitely positive. The morning star got... It's shiny. It looks like a sun and it has its luster. It looks like it's, you know, brand new gold. Okay, cool. Dirt. Yeah? Don't forget. Stay close to me. No, I got I got it. We're not going into a place where splitting up is going to be a good idea. Okay. Got it. Okay, so you, your horse is ready, and it's uh, it's going to be a few days' journey. Um, anything that you want to do in that time? Because while you do that, I'm going to look at the map. I'm. Where, uh, where, I'm sorry. Uh, where are we yeah. at on time? Uh, 107. Okay. If we want plus wanna, that like chunk it, in the middle that was like just yeah, it's true. There's going to be like, something. It's like five minutes. So I mean, if, if we want to wrap now and do another session. Or that's up to you. I don't know. You said you had some stuff you wanted to. No, I just want to look at where how I far. Say, we I don't know if I have time for another session tonight. Oh, sure. Early morning, so that's cool. Um, I just want to see where we're at. So, so like I, I said, anything you guys want to do? Hour or so, and I'm good. Cool. Anything you guys want to do while you do? That? I definitely want to want to pray to Hor and like ask. I guess <laughs> I'm praying to the Raven Queen, but also like, what do I need to do to appease you, woman? <laughs> yeah, that's positive. Um, Not in those terms, exactly. Of course. So it is... It was quite a few days' journey. We're going to have to run into some other shit while we do this. So... Okay, we'll go there. So what that dagger do, though? Uh, the dagger gives me... Tell me about the dagger. Yeah. So it's a... Plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls when using it. Okay. So I get a plus eight to my my attack and a plus five to my damage. Um, I can use an action to coat the blade in poison for one minute. And if it hits a creature, they have to do a DC constitution saving throw if they get uh, a 15. Saving throw of 15. If they fail, it's 2d10 of poison and then a poison for a minute. But it's it's once per dawn. But it lasts a minute, so that's what, ten rounds? Yeah. Yeah. So it's um, pretty neat. Is there super pumped about giving it up? <laughs> Thanks, bruh. Sorry. Like it was Thanks, made, bruh. It was actually made for dirt, so <laughs> <laughs> Was it really? <laughs> yeah, because fuck Absidy. Fuck Absidy. Who else used daggers? Dirt. <laughs> Dick daggers. <laughs> He's got a, sh- a silver short sword and now a morning star. I think he'll be okay. I uh, I do have an attunement card just in case one of you was going to attune to it. It's interesting. Attune to? The uh, morning star. I oh, also okay. custom made Dirt's weapon because there's nothing like it. Dope. I'll give, I'll give you guys... See what Ooh, it is. I need it back, Bo. Yeah, I figured. Have it for Read him. it aloud for the whole gang. Uh, one-handed, it's 1d8 plus your strength, plus 1d4 of radiance damage, which is great against Strahd. 
Two-handed, it's 1d10 plus your strength, plus 1d4 radiance damage, and it's a curse. If making first attack must succeed a DC of 15 wisdom save, on a fail it cannot attack until hit. So, it, does that mean if you're, like, leading off with in initiative? Like, uh, kind of like how we had stacked before when we fought the Dragonborn. Mm -hmm. Dirt would have had to succeeded a 15, or else he wouldn't be compelled to attack. Got it. Got it. We'll right. say we're back. So, a uh, couple of days travel. Uh, you with... Um, sorry, his name has escaped me. Uh, Casimir. 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 Uh, he's a quieter guy. Kind of sticks to himself. Uh, he has this kind of like tome that he reads, and yeah, anything that you're trying to do within the the next couple of days. I'm gonna uh, run some of this stuff by him because he's been in the area for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask him about the fallen house of the stone dragon. I'm gonna ask him about uh, the philanthropist. Look to a place where madness reigns. See if he knows anything about any of that stuff. Um. The mage sounds familiar, but I feel like that's her. Who is that? Is that? It's like an M. Begins with an M. I'm sorry. It's um. My history is a little off. There's Volo. It was. There was like a very long time ago. There was this adventuring party. Um. Different plane. Um. They're very mighty. Some of their spells are still used now, and that mage, he went creep. <sighs> what happened to him? I'm sorry. I'm not entirely sure. It's okay. Try and figure it out. Mm, down the road, eh? Yeah. Um, you too? Uh, I just want to see if I see any traces of anything that would remotely point to Vin. Nothing really, unfortunately. I, okay. Again, trying to talk to Hor or Raven Queen to find out what I need to do in order to. Hor's obviously pissed at me a little bit. Channels are a little quiet. Uh, did you put the armor on? Yeah. yeah. So you you see now you have the uh, Hor sigil that it looks like Pietro chiseled into the armor, and mm -hmm. then it looks like the Raven Queen burned her sigil on the other arm. Dope. Absolutely. Um. Basically, just small talk with uh, Casimir. Okay. I want to, I want to know if I can trust him, because I plan to ask him about the book. Um, Abyssal. Yeah. Okay. And I want to try to peek at what kind of tome he's reading. It um, it looks like different spells. What language? It looks like Elvish. Elvish. Okay. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, no. I'm just also when we, when we camp, I want to like fight with dirt, like hand fight and teach him stuff. Okay. Um, anytime he tries to use the, the, the morning star, it looks like there's a hesitancy. Like he's like, I don't, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't You're know. You're just thinking about it too much, man. I know. It's just, I don't, it's like, I don't want to hit you and maybe hurt you. I just dirt. You're not going to hurt me. I know. It's, it's silly. It's silly. I know. I know. It's going to be all right, buddy. It's just, it's things like that. Like he's, he's never been touched by a God before. And you know, you're still getting used to it. Yeah. And you don't know who the fuck the morning Lord is. Cause no you're idea. like, oh yeah, it's Pelor. And he's like, I don't know. I guess no, Pelor. No, no. Didn't introduce himself as Pelor. So you have no idea who this fucking guy is. Just let it rip, man. Just let it rip. So, you know, he, he does some moves. You guys do some things. He's got, um, looks like he's got like. He's able to any kind of like damage that gets done like from a scuffle. He's able to put his hands on himself, and you see this divine kind of light seal everything up. But nothing too crazy. Just you guys training. Okay. Um, as you are going up this the same road that you've been traveling down, um, it finally comes to like an X intersection. Uh, there are branches to the northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast. The lower half of a snapped wooden sign post thrusts upward at an angle near the eastern elbow of the intersection. The top half of the sign, featuring arms pointing in four directions, lies in the weeds nearby. Gotta put the sign back together. 
Uh, who's good at puzzles? I got it. Okay, uh, go ahead and do just an investigation check for me. Nine. Nine. Okay, it takes you a little bit, uh, but you're able to kind of align everything. And with it, you see, um, basically, there's a thing that says Kresik and Toslenka Pass, and that's pointing to the southwest. Lake Baratok to the northwest. Valakai, and then the words Ravenloft, and that's to the northeast. That's where you came from. And then Berez to the southeast. So which way is is the Amber Temple? Think, shit, shit. Um, I think it's towards Baratok. And you see this kind of like crude map. It is shit. Um. Oh. Okay. There's a very it's a very long road. We would have to go. Where is that? Krizik. Shit. Yes, 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 yes. We have to go towards Krizik. Shows how much I know. Well, <laughs> if we go towards um, Berez, it looks like there's a mountain, a mountain range that we would have to either climb over to get to it, or we can take the long way. It looks like, I'm sorry, fellas, it looks like it's going to be at least a two-month journey. Two months? At least a month. We don't stop a lot. Going around? Yeah. What does it cut down to if we go through the mountains? Um... In your it looks like opinion. straight through the range, and it looks like to Berez. And then we have to go over the mountain. And Is that like, like two weeks? Range. Two weeks. Three we, weeks tops. We don't really have a lot of time here. Uh, here. No, I, I understand that. Then we're going through mountain. the mountains. Mountain it is. I'm a mountain man anyways. Uh, okay. okay. The town is first, though, right? The town, no. The town is out of our way. Quite frankly, but it's... Well, we run into something else. If we went... If we go through the mountain, if we go what through do we mountain, run into? We don't... It doesn't look like we really hit anything. There is a... It looks like a settlement. Um, what is that? I don't know. There's a blip here, but I don't know exactly what it is. But it's fairly close. Might be something interesting there. Maybe someone can get us through the mountain quicker. We have to go there. Yeah. Okay. A month is too long. Fair. Um, okay. And with that, and your sight set on moving towards um, Beres, we will end it there. Cool. A little lackluster, I know, but we, now you have your new set journey. Yeah. Out of Valakai, and we're on to the next adventure. Shit. Better dump them. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. We close this out. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this week. Uh, we really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out Justin at Top Tabling. Um, right there. And that's that's what we got. Um, hit us up with questions, comments, and we love you.